Welcome to Fill My Run, my name is Stephen Cousins. Uh, today we are at Worthing Running Track, Worthing Leisure Centre Track. And uh, we're here today to test the accuracy or not of the Stride foot pod. So we're going to set the watch to use the Stride foot pod for speed and for distance. And we're going to ignore GPS altogether. We're going to turn, G well, we're not going to turn GPS off because we need a nice map around the track, but it's not going to be used to measure our speed and distance. Uh, but also I have with me my uh, little, <laughs> my little wheel <laughs> just to test that this track is actually 400 meters long and we do that by measuring the inside lane so if you look down here we're going to put the wheel about 20 centimeters in from the edge of the track and that is officially the line that 400 meters should be on so zero <laughs> Right, I finished going round the track and on my Phoenix 6 uh, watch using the track run mode from Garmin, uh, I have 386 meters. So hopefully you can see that there, 386, let's just try and get in the shade, 386 meters round the track. Uh, so not 400 meters as we would hope, however, Using the same foot pod on Bluetooth, on my other watch, we measure 0.41, which is approximately 410 meters. This is using the normal run mode on the uh, Garmin 245 watch. So that's a bit of an interesting result from the off, really, given that we've only got one foot pod, different protocols, Ant Plus and Bluetooth, to two separate watches, but both watches measuring differently using the same foot pod. Anyway, let's have a look at what we've got on the uh, the wheel. So the wheel is measuring three, oh, hang on a minute, 398.4, 398.4. So what we can conclude from the wheel measure is the official uh, measuring line, which is 20 meters inside the track uh, on lane one, um, is not quite right so we probably need to move into the center of the track so I'm going to measure the track one more time and this time from the dead center of lane one right that's me done 400 meters round the track uh, here at Worthing uh, 385 meters recorded on the Phoenix 6 from the Stride Wind foot pod. Uh, uh, by the way, yeah, I'm using the Stride Wind foot pod, which is the newest, latest version of a Stride foot pod. And on the Garmin, what have I got? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, 42, 0 0.42, okay. Uh, so it was dead on 200 meters over there. Uh, we seem to have added some, uh, but interestingly, I've already looked at the wheel and we're dead on 400 meters. In fact, it's absolutely dead on 400 meters. So I think we're done with the wheel now. I think we can say for definite that as long as you run somewhere between uh, the center of the lane and towards the inner edge of the lane, you'll get 400 meters of distance. So, you know, the track is 400 meters long, isn't it really? Uh, so now we're gonna run around the track at um, zero calibration and we'll see what distance we get running pretty much dead center of lane one. So we're gonna do that Okay, first run around the track and actually pretty successful. Um, the watch on my left hand is the Phoenix 6. Let's have a look at that. 397 meters, 397 meters around the track and the Garmin 245 has measured 0.41. So 400 meters or so around the track, 410 meters. 397 the thing is that margin of error is is slight enough that see if i run on the outside of the track i'm likely to get 400 meters. in fact let's do that so i'm going to run on the outside edge of lane one outside edge of lane one 
another lap and I'll see if we get 400 meters on the Phoenix 6. So I'm going to run there, right on the outside edge of lane one, and we'll do another 400 meters and see what we get. Okay, just coming up to the end of the lap. There we go. 401 on the Phoenix 6, 401 meters. There we are, 401 meters on the Phoenix 6. 0.44. This is weird, isn't it? So that's 400, 440 meters. That can't possibly be right. But it's the same foot pod. So look, there we are. There, that's the stride. Foot pod stride. That shows you that it's connected via Bluetooth. And it says the status is connected. And if we click here, speed always, distance always, calibration factor 100. Uh, yet that watch is giving me 0 0.44 for distance, whereas the Phoenix 6 has given me 401 meters and I am running around the outside edge of the track, so a little bit further in and it's gonna give me 400, isn't it? On a, a, a 100 calibration, so no, no extra calibration on, on the watch at all. I am, I'm a bit flummoxed now as to how, how that is. Right, perhaps what I'll do is I will connect this watch via Ant Plus. So I'll connect the Garmin 245 via Ant Plus and connect the Phoenix via Bluetooth and see if that makes a difference. Let's do that. Right, we're off. Four kilometers round the track and uh, we'll see what we get at the end. Okay, I couldn't resist it. I've just stopped at the line on the uh, first lap round. Uh, the, Gar <laughs> the Garmin Phoenix 6 has measured 407 meters, whereas the 245 has measured bang on 400 meters. So, interesting. Okay, I've stopped at the end of the second lap. Um, I have on my Phoenix 6, 823 meters, 824. How is it adding? 20, what? So, okay, I stopped and it said, right, hang on, this is ridiculous. It's just adding numbers as we go. 826 meters now it's just added. 827 meters. Bluetooth is not doing well here, is it? Something's up with Bluetooth. 827 meters. I stopped and it said 823 and now it's gone up to 828 meters. This is the Bluetooth signal. This is not Ant Plus. Ant Plus, look, we're on 0 0.79 meters. And I did run, I have to say, more on the inside of the track. So let's now carry on and I'll, I'll go, I'll move back to more the centre of the track now. Okay, 10 minutes in, we've done 1600 metres, but the, uh, the stride foot pod connected via Bluetooth is saying uh, 1640 metres. Uh, the stride foot pod connected via Amp Plus is saying 1.59 kilometres. So, pretty darn good okay uh, let's carry on and we'll do another 200 and then i'll swap them over again i think right so i've done two kilometers and i've now swapped them around again so the phoenix 6 is connected via amp plus and the garmin 245 is connected via bluetooth and we'll see if we get a difference so the phoenix 6 recorded 2,046 metres for that two kilometre run. The Garmin 245 recorded 1.99 kilometres. So pretty bang on. Okay, finished. <laughs> Oh dear, this is hilarious. Okay, look, 
So the Phoenix 6 connected via Amp Plus has measured. Time of 10.29 for two kilometers, 1,998 meters uncalibrated. And over on the other watch, this is two kilometers connected via Bluetooth to the same foot pod, 2.02 kilometers. Same foot pod, just uh, transferring the data via Bluetooth or via Ant Plus. That's the only difference and different watches. So that's it from Film My Run here on the track at Worthing. We've tested the Stride Wind foot pod, uncalibrated on the Garmin Phoenix 6 and the Garmin 245, connected via Ant Plus and via Bluetooth. We've had different results on both watches, interestingly enough, uh, from the same foot pod. But what are you going to do? Go figure. Um, the thing is about this kind of stuff, you know, you are never going to know the exact distance you've run. If you're in a race on a track, you're going to be weaving around people. You, you might have to move quite far out into lane three to get past people. At the end of the day, the result for your race is going to say 400 metres or 800 metres or 1500 metres, whatever it is. But the actual distance that you've run might be completely different. It doesn't matter. According to the official race results and according to your PB, you've run 400 metres round the track, regardless. Uh, so there we are. Kudos, really, to the Stride foot pod. Um, even, though, even though we've got some odd results, in general, you know, it looks like the Stride foot pod on this 400 metre track has performed very well indeed. There we go. Take care. Thanks for watching. See you for another epic Film My Run adventure. Not that this has been particularly epic, but there we are next time. Bye-bye.